Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Our topic today is about cells. Cells are the basic structure of a living thing. So basically they are the building blocks of a living thing. A group of cells make up a tissue. A group of tissues make up an organ. A group of organs make up a system. An example is the digestive system. It is made up of many organs, including the stomach. The stomach is an organ which is made up of tissues. These tissues include the epithelial tissue. The epithelial tissue is made up of cells. And these cells are made up of organelles. Magnification. Cells are way too small. They cannot be seen by the eye itself. So in order to see them, we need to magnify or zoom using the microscope. Magnification is equal to the measured length over the actual length. For example, we have this small bug over here. Let's say it measures from this point to this point 2 centimeters. And we have magnified 100 times in order to get it into this size. So its actual length is equal to measured length over the magnification. That's 2 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.02 centimeters or 2 millimeters. So let's start with the animal cell anatomy. First up, the nucleus. The nucleus contains information about the cell, including how to make proteins, cell division, etc. Then we have the cell membrane. It is made up of phospholipids and controls what gets in and out of the cell. Then we have the Golgi apparatus, which makes packages and releases proteins or lipids. Then we have the small vacuoles which store food and water. Then we have the mitochondria which makes energy using respiration. And then we have the cytoplasm which is a place for chemicals and chemical reactions. So some chemical reactions happen in the cytoplasm like the anaerobic respiration which does not actually happen in the mitochondria. Then we have the endoplasmic reticulum which makes fats or lipids. Then we have the lysosome which filters the waste by digesting them using enzymes. Then we have the ribosomes, these are very small, they convert messenger RNA um, into protein or they just simply make protein. Then we have the vesicles and they move protein, fats and carbohydrates throughout the cell. And these are the cytoskeleton which support other organelles and they move synthesized protein. The plant cell have the same organelles but they don't usually have lysosome. They have two more organelles. They have the cell wall which protects the plant and it is made of cellulose. Cell walls in different organisms are made from different substances. The cell wall in a bacterium is made up of peptidoglycan, while the cell wall in a fungi is made up of chitin. Chloroplast is where photosynthesis happens. They contain chlorophyll which traps sunlight. The difference between an animal and plant cell. Plant cells have their nucleus often pushed to the side while at an animal cell it is at the center. Plant cells have a cell wall 
while animals don't. Plant cells usually have no lysosome while an animal cell usually has. Plant cells have chloroplasts while animal cells don't. And plant cells have large vacuoles while animals have many small vacuoles. Thank you all guys for watching and see you all next time.